I believe we are live. Let me just wait for the other screen to come up. Alrighty. Cool. All right. I am set up. Hey, Perry, what's up, man? How you doing? Thank you for showing up, man. How's it going? Uh, how's everything with you? Hey, Daniel, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Thank you for uh, joining in, man. Hope everybody's having uh, enjoying their day of Saturday. Heck yeah, just reading on some Teen Titans, trying to catch up. Uh, that's always good, man. Trying to catch up on those Teen Titans, yeah. Great title. And uh, just doing a live show, just to hang out a little bit. Uh, doing a little preview. I just came from the Big Apple Con today, and just gonna give my little preview of, uh, you know, the good, the bad, you know, the pros, the cons, uh, you know, during the con today. So they really do too much shopping. We'll kind of there's some disappointments today, and uh, not you know some little good times. So just gonna wait a little while, see if anybody. Thoro, what's up, man? Yo, I sent you a link. If you wanna join, I send you an email. To, if you're gonna be on the screen, brother. Any signatures? Well, that's one of the things I'm gonna be bringing up. Uh, good and the bad, <laughs> Daniel. Good and the bad. Hey, James, how you doing? I believe uh, this is the first time you've been uh, in my chat, so welcome. Poor Mike, what's up, poor Mike? What's up? How's everybody doing today? Thoro, just check, go check your, your email, Thoro. Let me know if you got it or you didn't get it. All right, yeah, no problem. Take your time. Take your time. All right. Well, I'm gonna start off how my my day went to get to the to the to the Big Apple Con today. Uh, I worked late last night. Did a double shift at my job. Then I drove home. Uh, I work in New York and live in PA, so it was about a two and a half hour drive. So basically, I didn't get home till about maybe around one, you know, one thirty or so or two. Uh, went to sleep, and I caught the bus back to New York, where that's where the Big Apple Con was. And uh, so basically, I had about two hours sleep because I, I had caught the five five twenty five bus in the morning, and I went with my daughter. What's up, Jeff G? What's going on? So technically, I got in the city about seven early. Uh, the con for general people opened up at 10, but if you paid extra for that extra early admissions, uh, they get in at nine. So me and my daughter went there, you know, had a little breakfast and we were going to meet up with, uh, my daughter's husband's cousin who was hanging out with us that day. So we waited a little while and we went online, uh, we waited. I would say got online pretty early. Uh, they let us in a little early. What's up, JD? What's going on? Um, they let us in a little early. It was like a little chilly. It wasn't too bad. And uh, we got inside and we waited, you know, waited to check in and everything. They gave us our bracelets and everything. What's up, Evan? What's going on, brother? And um, yeah, so once we got in, so. The first thing I wanted to do is like uh, what Daniel was saying, signatures. You know, want to get some books signed. You know, I'm, I sent my books to CGC. So here I am. I'm upstairs. I'm, I'm running around. What's up, J-Rod, man? What's going on? And, uh, you know, I find the CGC uh, table. And um, I haven't had I haven't went to CGC for a couple of years, so they kind of changed everything now. Uh, you're almost there. I hear you, but I don't see you. <laughs> I 
I can't hear you. Don't see you. All right, give me one quick second, Bill C. My bad, man. I know yeah. why I was. It's all right. It's it's out right I, now. I hear the baby in the background. Yeah, yeah, I got the I got the little one here with well, me. I was just getting to the to the to the bad part about the signatures, but I'm gonna wait till you get on. The, so when when you hear this story. So everybody say what's up to each other. Thank you for everybody showing up. A anybody in the chat went to the Big Apple Con today? I'm just wondering. Anybody in the chat went to the Big Apple Con today? There you go. Uh, there I go. I got you. What's going on, BLC, man? What's going on, man? I, I, I went to the con today, and there was some ups and there was some downs, man. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I've been going to this con. For years since i was a kid this this guy that's doing the con he started uh a option um he started in a in a basement of a church in, in this new york city in, near columbus circle right he moved up and then he does it every year right across the street from uh master's good garden so you know uh i worked late last night i got home late right and i had like two hours of sleep i took the bus back with my daughter to the city Got there early, you know, this other thing. So I get upstairs. First thing I'm going to do, I'll just get to this part of the story. I go upstairs. I want to get signatures. You know, I brought some books with me. I'm all hyped up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get these books. I, I even did a, a, a video on some of the books. I even had people, you know, asking which book should I take. So I have my three, you know, book, certain books that I want to get signed. So I get to CGC. They have a new way of doing things now. You know, you check in, you do some paperwork, right? And then you get escorted, like, you know, a witness goes with you to get it signed. So here I am doing the paperwork. The guy looks at the paperwork. You know what he tells me? The guy's not here. The guy that I want to get the signature, he canceled. Oh, damn. Are you serious? I'm, I'm dead serious. He he wasn't there. Um, Jim Sorenko, he was not there. He's not. And I asked him, is he going to come in to, to, uh, the next day? I'm gonna give him a hold on. Let me give a shout out to Big Shaq. What's up, man? He's giving me a meow raw. What's up? Yeah, man. So he didn't show up. So I was like, damn. Yo, that was like the biggest letdown ever. And because I really I had those three Captain America books ready to be signed. No, didn't happen. Right. So then, all right. So I had some other books that was gonna get signed by uh Cho. So Cho just happened to be right across from the CGC uh, table, right? And that guy wasn't, he was sitting in the chair, but he wasn't ready to sign. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, really? Two for two? I'm like, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, he's going to sign books, but he's going to sign it later. So I was like, oh my God, man. I said, what else can go wrong today? All right. So I, I keep walking around. So the, the, yeah, uh, JD. Yeah, no, no, Sharenko. I know, man. This is so upsetting. So here's his the bigger kicker, right? Not only, you know, I wouldn't get some signed books, but I wanted to go see a, a special guest. Thought I was going to be there. And he was late. Um, William Shatner himself, James T. Kirk, was late. And I did not get a chance to see him at all. He, he when I, I i i was there for hours and hours and he still wasn't there and i was getting tired so i i did not see captain car i was so free oh my god i was like this is this is getting nuts i'm like really i'm like oh my goodness but i did see the guy that played luke cage though in the netflix he was there so oh, damn, okay. yeah so i saw him i didn't get a go over the autograph because now I had to deal with the CGC thing. So I had to go back. Finally, uh, Cho started signing books, right? So then I had to go back to the lady, to the CGC. It says, all right, my paperwork's done already. So now I got to take a witness with me. Now I got to wait online. So now I'm waiting online, blah, 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 blah. I finally get to the front. He signs his book, you know, this, that, and everything. That, that. I go back to the table. I do some more paperwork. They put it in a, in a, in a bag and everything. I have to go back to this lady and then they tell me, all right, they you, they take your cell phone number and then they text you for like the next stage of doing the books. So I say, yeah, no problem. You know, how long can it be? Right. It says, you ready to submit your books? I said, yes, I'm, I'm ready to submit my books. So I says, we'll text you to come back. So I was all right. So I'm over there shopping around, looking around, but while I'm trying to, you know, 
it's it, it's the longer it takes, the more people's coming. It's getting packed, all right. So I'm looking around, blah blah blah. This and everything. I go back. They they text me. I go back, and then they're like, ah, you know, all right. You text you. We text you now. There's like maybe a couple more people in front of you. Then, you know, we'll, we'll get you. <laughs> we'll get you done. Yo, it took about a couple of hours. But you know, meanwhile, I was still shopping around. But there were so many people. I'm like waiting to get to a box to look. There was it was insane. There was just it it crowded. It was just that. So, what's up, Joker? Hey, Joke, I think I sent you an email, man, For if you wanted to join this chat, if you want to check it. So they had a lot of stuff, all right? They had pops. They had statues. They had um, drawings. They had so many different things, man. There was so, a lot of things. They, they had this one guy. He he takes glass, right, cups, like, really, and he etch sketch, like, on the cup itself, right? So you can get, like, a drawing or something on the cup, and it will never come off. So, like, if you want, like, a Joker face on it, and it's a see-through glass, and it, 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 you know, it was, like, 20 bucks for it. He gave me his card, and I want to check that out, though, you know? So, I did pick something up for my wife, though. All right? I saw this. I said, I, I said, let me get it. You know, it's, you know, it's not a big deal, but I thought it was cute. So, check this out. Oh, damn. <laughs> that, that's nice, man. It's a I like that. With, with a Wonder Woman thing, yeah. That, that, that's dope. Yeah, that's tough, man. And she ain't, uh, your wife doesn't know about it yet? No, she ain't home yet. She don't, she don't know that. You know how much I pay for this? Oh, damn, all right. She's, that, that's going to be a hell of a surprise for her, man. How take much? A, take a guess. 50 bucks? $10. Damn, you serious? Yo, there was some massive deals going on at this auction. Yo, oh, snap, man. Johnson, I didn't even get to the part where I met the Warriors at the auction yet. But Jeff, the mayor was there. I didn't get uh, get, get to the point yeah. uh, with them. So I got picked this up from my wife. So that's what my daughter has two other ones that she picked up. So she got those. So give uh that you know. So that was, those were like the bad things. You know the lousy things that happened to me uh during it but the good thing the cool thing is i actually hung out uh, and met a lot of the new york warriors at, at at the uh at the auction so i see uh jeff is in there the man i met uh, jeff he's actually is tall <laughs> like he's a tall guy man and i met marky i met uh erod and manny so we all like mm -hmm. talking hanging out and everything so you know, they, they, it's funny, man. You, you, when you meet them in person and everything, man, they, they're, they're so cool. You know, so even though they're cool online, but when you meet them, you're hanging out, you're like, oh, wow, hey, what's up, man? They saw me coming. That's the funny thing. They see me, man, they saw me come and they all started meowing <laughs> when they saw me coming towards them. So, you know, shout out to the, the, to the Warriors there and everything. So that was pretty cool. You know, but it was, it was, it was a pretty, you know, decent show. They had a lot of good things and everything. But, Again, I went through some books. You know, there were some deals I didn't really pick. I picked up a little bit of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. And I only picked up four books. You know, that was, a, you know, decent enough, I guess. You know, you know, when you go to these cons, man, you got to go with these boxes. You got to put your boxes, you know, your books or something. Yeah, Jesse, we had a great time, man. Yeah. I don't know what time he left. You left. Uh, I got tired, man. It, it took me so long to, to send those books in. All right. How many books you end up sending out? Um, I got Cho to sign two, two books. That's it. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, one was a Miss Marvel book, a uh, number one, and one was uh an Amazing Spider Man seven ninety nine. Uh, Cho ex exclusive uh thing it said on the bottom of the book, so it's actually his exclusive book that he signed. So I'm hoping okay. that, yeah, hoping that I think that one should come back at nine eight. I'm hoping the Miss Marvel might come back at nine six. That one, you know, took a little little beating. So let's see. Hold on. All righty. So I found this. Let me see this way. I'm lying, man. 
you know, that was the right shape. All right. So I don't know if you can see it, but right there, you see the six? That was how much. Yeah. It was. yeah. And that was half off. Oh, damn. So I got this with the man. car. Man, I'm telling you, man, you go to these cons, man. Sometimes yeah. those, those things, man, you get a hell of a deals, man. And you got it takes you know. a lot of time because there's so many people you're trying to get to a a a, a, a box and everything. So you know, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, for three dollars, you know, it's a little little couple of little knickknacks here and there, but you know, for twenty five cents book for three bucks, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, the color looks fine, you know, it's not fading or nothing. Color like stains, so I mean, that was good. I can't get on now. I'm doing compra. <laughs> Yo, joke is funny. This is a comprando. All right, I uh, I found this in the same box because you know I was looking for uh, books, but you know it's the condition too that you're looking for, even though you're looking for a great deal and everything. So I got this one, 81, probably just, you get a pressing, you probably take, you know, this out. But again, see the price? And it's a decent copy. Again, half off. I'm a big Iron Man collector too. I mean, I got, I got a whole bunch of them. So just to pick these up. Yeah, like I said, I didn't really get too too many. A lot of books I said they were pretty pretty bagged up, man. This one is pretty good. This one's a little cheaper. This is a fifteen cents book. All right. So this one he was selling for thirty two, so I got it for sixteen. Man, those are those aren't bad deals at all, man. Oh, that's a nice test yeah. book right there. So you know, again, if again, I had to spend more time dealing with with the CGC thing, and again, you know, when I tried to look for books, it was like I had to wait for like you know somebody to get out of the way. When I looked in there, I don't know if they grabbed the better stuff. So the lot, the last book I picked up, all right, was this book. I mean, it it's you know it's so so. I mean, it's okay. It probably needs, it definitely needs a cleaning and a pressing, and it's like real, like the corner little chip. But I got a check mark with a with a pen. There. I don't know if I can get that out. So this I got for ten dollars. It, it was half off, twenty to ten. So again, the color, color is nice. You know, it's not bad. You know, after a while, it started getting hot in there, too. You know, they're like, oh, too many people. And then people start bumping into you from time to time. You know, and then you had the people dressed up and cosplay and all that stuff. So th those are the books that I got. See what's going on in the chat. Oh, my Nemo. Uh, great cover. Thank you, James. What's up, guys? Hey, Judge. JD, lo uh, he, uh, JD loved the books. Thank you. Marcus, big drop. What's up, man? Thank you for joining in. Yeah, so yeah, that was it. You know, I was disappointed with the books. Oh, so basically, what I did with the with the Captain Americas, then I bumped, like I said, I bumped into the the Warriors. So I said, Yo, Erod, you know, you're already here because Erod's laughing at me. He goes, You know, when are you gonna stop pressing your books because they know I never press my books when I send them to CGC and I get those those grades. So when, when it's so you know I said you know what here here my three Captain Americas press them see what see what happens see you know that I already had them you know so this is I'm gonna wait until those come back it's gonna be my first three books that I ever got pressed so I want to see how they come out so it, 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 that's that should be something yeah you might as well at this point bro because you know that's that's the best way literally to try to get a higher grade. You know what yeah. I mean? From all the stuff that I've seen that Erod has done and everything like that. Because yeah. I hit him up last week and I just told him through Instagram because I just ended up buying uh, Incredible Hulk 102. Okay. So I'm waiting for that to come in. And I actually got that for a really good price. Uh -huh. So I was actually surprised that I was able to, to scoop that up on eBay. 
But yeah, I hit him up about that because it needs a little bit of a cleaning on the front cover. Yeah. Like at the top where the Hocus head is. I don't know if you're too familiar with 102, but right there it's got like a stain. So Ebrod was telling me that he's going to see if he'll be able to take that stain out or not. Oh, yeah. So other than that, I mean, it's it's a beautiful book, man. It really doesn't have any spine ticks for the age that it is. And, you know, so yeah. I'm just waiting to see, man. I'm going to send those books out to him. And yeah, hopefully, like, hopefully it'll like, work his like, magic going on. You see, like, right here, you see, like, it's, like, kind of, like, brown. So I don't know if, if that comes out when they when they clean it. Yeah, yeah. It does. I, 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 see, that's the thing. I never got a, a book press, so I don't know, you know, how it's going to come out or how it's going to look. I don't know if you got a, a book press before. Yeah, I did, man. I actually, because you know uh, CBCS does pressings and cleanings yeah so this so i sent that. out yeah i sent out a couple books and they they did a good job man i, I was surprised with what they did really? you know because i was looking at um trying to remember what books it were but there were a couple books that i you know i thought maybe they were like in the 8.0 range uh -huh. so by the time that they pressed and cleaned everything you know it came back at a 9.2 so i can't even complain about it wow. you know to go from a, from like something that i thought was an 8.0 you know to go to 9.2 man that's that's crazy so you know you could tell that you know especially if somebody knows what they're doing especially like erod if you know if you guys go on his instagram and things like that man you guys will see a lot of his stuff that he has on there you know it's crazy man how, how he turns you know some of these books that look like you know just complete crap and he turns them into into a completely different thing man so you know shout out to erod man i can't wait to send him my stuff man i, I got a couple books to send out to him I, I gotta see like i said this is gonna be my my first pressing so i already know what they look like and i already know in my head what grade that um that you know that if i would have sent it out the way they were i already know like what grade it, it would have came back so when i get the books back if i mean if uh, everybody's always saying you know you press and clean and you, you see you'll see the difference so i mean if if it comes out to be that point then i'm definitely gonna have to start sending my books to get pressed i'm not to change because a lot of times I send modern books in to CGC and they come back nine sixes. They're like brand new books, man. You know, how can I not come back a nine eight? I mean, you gotta be kidding me. You know, what yeah. what is it that they find that's a nine six? No, nah, man, I feel you, man. It, it's it's crazy because I mean you could you could look at that book all day long and you're just like, you know, what the hell, you know, why is this a nine six? Like you said, and it's like I've I've gotten some books too where you know, I'm looking at them and I'm just like, where the hell, man? I don't, I don't have nothing. You know, the cover's flat. You know, no ticks, no nothing on it. You know, no color breaks. You know, no fox, no foxing, things like that. And it's like, I'm like, they're losing my mind thinking about it. Just being like, what the hell? You know, how the hell did this not come as a 9.8? And I'm sure there's many, you know, other comic heads out there that, that have gone through that same problem. I see Evan in the chat says, most new books are nine fours. So, hey, Jeff, what, uh, A Comic 813, what's up, man? How you doing? I didn't see you before. Thank you for joining, talking, hanging out. Said, so, yeah, man, yeah, but most of my books, uh, he's, uh, Evan says he's 9.4s, but a lot a lot of them I get back on 9.6s. So it's, it's so freaking hard to get a 9.8. You know, I don't know what it is. Maybe thumbprints, Marco says. Yeah, I, I, I would say so, too. I think, you know, uh, finger and, you know, prints or something on there that maybe we don't see you know yeah that is that is another thing i learned too man it's just like you know when you put your fist on comic books and things like that you do yeah, nice. you, know, you, leave, you leave that oily residue from your hands and all that stuff shows up so it's like literally you know you gotta wipe down your comics before you send them out i know it says uh paul mike says nice wall behind you thoro yeah i appreciate it man thank you brother yo it's okay it's Took me a long ass time to put that thing up there, man. It's actually pretty crazy how long it took. I think it took me almost like three to four hours to put that damn thing up. Yeah, I see. You've been pretty busy, man. I just watched uh Chino, Chino's video that he just received your books that you sent to him and he opened it up and took a look and everything. So I was like, you know, he gave you a shout yeah, out. Man, he was that was some 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 nice books, man. Yeah, yeah, he was, you know, he was, uh, I was talking to him, man. I was, uh, you know, going on Instagram, you know, back and forth with him, you know, just politicking about a couple of things. And, you know, he was just asking me at random, you know, hey, do you happen to have any of these books? Because, you know, since they just started their store and everything like that, you know, they were having problems trying to look for certain books. So I know I had a ton load of Immortal Hoax and, you know, at least one of, you know, that Jim Lee copy 
for uh, Batman Damn number one, you know, because I know tons of people are trying to get their hands on them. So yeah. you know, a lot of that stuff that I sent out their way. So yeah, I got, I got. Hopefully, it makes somebody happy. That's tough. Yeah, he said the same thing. Says you know he's got people coming in there asking for these books, and and you know, and it's hard for them to get. So they really appreciate, it and they give you a big ass shout out. I see Joker says Erod posted a picture of all of us on Insta Instagram. I and the thing is I can't get on Instagram. I've been disabled and I can't get back on. And I was only on it for like a day. So uh to Instagram, you know. I don't know what what's what's going on with them. It's so hard to contact them to find out what the hell the problem. You know, so if anybody can, you know, let me know how to get, you know, disabled off, you know. And, and find out what I did wrong. I mean, I don't know how what I can do to get disabled one day on Instagram. What can I have done? Nothing. Uh, it probably BLC. You know, you know what it is, man. What? I think it's because you were wearing that Mets hat in a picture on Instagram, and they took you off, man. <laughs> yeah, just for that, man. I'm gonna let Lenny bite your butt, man. That's it. <laughs> I'm with then. That's it. Keep that on. We're still coming, man. <laughs> Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So I also I also that uh I, I was checking uh again, you know, through the notification and thing. Uh Monday you're gonna be on the no they're gonna have you on the show, man, chilling with the NY Warriors, man. Yeah, man. You know, it's it's an honor and a privilege, man. I'm I'm extremely humbled, man. You know, a lot, a lot of these guys, like I said, you know, I, I told my story through you, man. You know, you put me out there first and you know, that, that gave me kind of the courage, you know, there's a lot of people that get camera shot and things like that. And, and I understand it, you know, it's kind of hard because you're there, you know, it could be thousands of people watching you or whatever. You know, right now you're thinking, hey, you know, the, the amount of people that are on the chat are watching us. But later down, you know, the replay gets played again. And, you know, there you start thinking, hey, did, you know, did I, did I speak right? Did I do this right? What did I do wrong? You know, you start, you know, double thinking everything you're doing. But honestly, man, it's like it's like you, man. I, I honestly, I prefer just going on live, yeah. Because I feel like I, I could say everything that I want to, and I don't, I don't have to go off a script, you know. And you know, shout out to them guys that do it, you know. Cause that, that's that's also some work in itself. Yeah, I, I gotta give the shout out to the New York Warriors because they they were the first one to invite me on their auction channel, so it was a privilege to be on hanging out with them. So you know, gotta give them credit. Said they they opened the door, you know, and they welcome everybody. So shout out to the New York Warriors. Uh, and like he said, I, I'm the same way, man. I feel the love and, and everybody's get, just giving the opportunity to do things. And I, and I'm, I'm just glad that I can do the same thing to other people and, you know, you know, you, to, for you to come on and, and had, you know, I had come expected for the first, it's like, you know, just having people just, I got people asking me now, you know, Hey, when's your next auction? What can I be on? I'm like, wow, man, that's, that's such a thrill that, you know, I, I it feels so great, you know, to, to actually have different people come on and say, hey, they want to hang out, you know. Of course, everybody loves Lenny more than me, but, you know, I think he, <laughs> they, they love him. They always, they always put in the chat raw and this and everything. I'm like, you know, but it's a good time, man. It's so, nah, definitely, man. It's, you know, like I say, you know, it's, it's cool to, to give a helping hand out to, to people, man, especially, you know, for when it comes down to comic books, man, comic books are so subjective, man. You could, you know, you can have your opinion on the comic books you like. I can have my opinion on the comic books that I like, you know. Just like, you know, you were showing your Iron Man stuff. I'm not a big Iron Man fan. I never, you know, never found anything cool about Iron Man. Really? You know, some people might want to kick my ass for that, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, no, but, you, you know, know. You know it, it's, it's just that, you know, again, you know, I picked that up even though I liked it. And, you know, you, you, you don't like it, but there's so many books out there, tons of people. And I've seen books that I never even heard of. And, and, I, and just to see the expression, how people get so excited about the story and the artwork and I, you know, and I'm looking at these books and I'm like, it's not something that I would collect, but you know, it's interesting to see, you know, what they say about it and how the story, you know, that they're so, they're so into it. And I just, it's like so entertaining. I'm like, wow, you know, this, you know, this person is enjoying the book and this and everything. And you're like, you know, that's, you know, how that feels because when you doing your books that you're interested, it's the same thing. So, you know what they're going through because you got the same feeling. So it's like, you know, it's like, great. You know, you know, you, it's like, you guys communicate is like you're on the same link, you know? So it's, it's good, you know? So you, you can't beat that though. 
you know, yeah, definitely, man. And you know that that's what I spend majority of my time, man. I, I'll be watching a lot of people's videos, man. And you know, I check out everybody because everybody has something that you know I get to learn from all day. You know, and there's so many things that I learn from, you know, from everybody that's posting channels on YouTube and doing all these different things. You know, this is literally you. I mean, you go on YouTube now and you can learn how to install a floor in your home, man. And so it's just kind of like, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, you learn so many things. And and I'm, I'm personally, I'm appreciative of it. You know, that's that's how I found you online. You know, found the New York Warriors. You know, I found I found a whole bunch of people. You know, a lot of people talk about Comic Tom and you know, Bueller and everything like that. And, you know, and I watch those guys, you know, shout out to all of them, you know, they're doing their thing and, you know, they're hustling hard, man. Yeah. So shout out to everybody in the chat, man. If you guys haven't subbed to Thor Q Borrow, man, you're missing out. Give, give him some love, man. Sub him up, hit that notification. Trust me. He was, he brings the heat with the books. He loves hanging out. Everybody's a, he's a people person. So sub him up, man. So I know I did <laughs> right off the bat as soon as I met him. So and and we've been chit chatting back and forth for a long time and I, I I trust me I like to do that with almost everybody out there because everybody wants to to talk and hang out and have a good time so you know again my door is always open if guys want to join you know on my auction and again uh, every time I do an auction I'm trying to have like an open spot for somebody just to hang out during the auction that you don't have to sell so if you want to hang out. And chit chat with us during the auction. You know, I mean, you could bid and stuff like that. So this way, you get more interactive instead of just being in the chat where you can actually be on talking live. You know, have that experience. I mean, you know, I open up the door to that. Start that new. I see Joker says, "Uh, you see, are you going to East Co uh, Coast Comic Con? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I am, Joker, because uh, you know, George Perez gonna be there. I'm gonna try to get some cinches." But I did find out through CGC that they're not going to be there. So I might have to go through a third party to get my books, you know, great, which, again, blows, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Marco says, what homie's name again in the Yankees cap? That's Jose. Thorough Q. Borrow. Thorough Q. Borrow is the man, Jeff G says. Sub yeah, I appreciate it, man. Shout out, shout out to Jeff G once again, man. You know, he, he sent me. Send me a couple of comic books, man. I, I really appreciate it, man. Um, it's you know, even even like I said, you know, little things like that, man. They, you know, it, it hits home for me. You know, it, you know, stuff like that comes from the heart, man. It goes to show you the, the amount of love that everybody has for everybody in the comic community, man. So I really appreciate that, Jeff G. Thank you, brother. All right, we got uh, Brandon Soniski joining us, man. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Joker saying CVCS. Yeah, Joker. I know, but oh my, see, this is the thing with me. You know, once I start with one thing, I, I continue. So I my first books I ever had was C you know, CGC. So every book I have is CGC. I'm not saying nothing bad about C C B S, but you know, all my books is just one thing, you know. So that's just the way I am. But you know, um George Perez is gonna be a terrific con in Connecticut, and I will have my second shot at Jim's. If I could say his name again, Jim. Now I'm going blank. Go, just go for it, man. It's Taranko. Taranko, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Thank you. There you go. Jim Taranko is going to be at Terrific Con. This go, that's going to be my second opportunity to get those books out. But this time, they're going to be pressed by Erod. So, you know, cross our fingers and see if I can get that done. Telling you, man, with Erod's magic touch, man, you probably gonna get there nine, nine, or ten, man. Well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, man. You know, um, you know, like I said, I never got uh, books great, uh, you know, pressed. So this is gonna be interesting. So I'm still thinking of sending that Moon Knight one. I'm still thinking of sending this to Erod. Yeah. Oh, you definitely should, bro. I'm telling you, man, you definitely have to. The only thing is when I'm looking at the staple, they kind of like really, you know, I don't know if, uh, if, you know, I, I don't want it to come off, but they're really like real delicate, I should say. So, oh, really? Yeah. The staples, yeah. So, so I mean, what are the staples rusting or is the book just like barely hanging off the staples or something? It's, it's, you know, it's not like stapled, like, 
it's like w the the paper around the staple starting to wear off, like you know, from the staple. Oh, okay, I got you. Get a little loose. So you know, again, I mean, maybe the press will you know press it a little tighter. Maybe it'll, it'll hang in there. I don't know, but you as a mass presser, you won't be disappointed. I, I am not. I know. I always hear good things about you, right? Like I said, I never got a book pressed. So it's gonna be good. Biggie got a big jump, great because of Erod. So, you know, why not? I mean, this is a Grail book. Why not take the chance? You know. So, hey. Yeah, definitely, man. I'm I'm still I'm still on the hunt for one of those, man. I, I love Moon Knight, man. That, that's one of my favorite characters right there from Marvel. James it says Claremont will be in Albuquerque in April, and I believe he signs up uh, five books per customer. So I will have my kids in line and get some tickets. Yeah, I think Claremont is, is I think might be a terrific con also, if I believe. But I hear Claremont ch charges an arm and a leg for his signatures. So I don't know. Yeah, that dude, that dude is rare, man. So uh one of one of my live videos, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna go into the wall behind me. So I know some people might be able to see it, some people might not be able to see it, but I got that X-Men and uh Titans crossover. I got I got that signed by Claremont. Okay, I see. I, I that, see. Yeah. yeah, and that time when when he signed it, he was charging. I mean, this was like four years ago, uh -huh. and he was charging like twenty dollars. So I don't know what the hell he charges now, because I know some people be going, you know, going off the bat with you know trying to charge people for autographs. Well, and Joker, then half the time I'm I don't even want to do it, man. Yeah, the Joker says he thinks he charges ten, but um. From what I heard, I, I heard Claremont's prices went went up high, so I I don't know about that. Uh, I when uh, uh, Cho charged me how much did he charge me? I don't know if he charged me ten. I think he charged me ten each book or twenty, something like that. I think it was ten. So yeah. Marcos, I think uh, I think he just subbed you up, man. Marcos, big drop thirteen. Yo, man, Marcos, Big Droops, thirteen. I appreciate it, brother, man. And um, I saw I saw the question that, that you asked earlier, Marcos. Uh, he was asking if we think anything big is gonna happen on Spawn three hundred. I don't know how you've been. Uh, if you're too familiar, you know, if you're familiar enough with with the Spawn run that's going on right now, you know, because right now Spawn developed new powers. You know, the violated powers that he has. Right. But, I I'm 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 back from like the beginning like from number one and until like maybe like the first 80 issues i have or uh, first 90 or something like that issue after that i i haven't read up on the new series yet but i, I heard that it picked up so i i don't know but uh you can't go wrong with spawn because it's it's up to 300 the books man from starting from I mean that's that's awesome. That means it's it's still going strong. Oh uh, yeah, and, and and supposedly I mean I've been following Todd McFarlane on uh, on Instagram and he's been posting up pictures for the new art. And I mean he's literally following, you know, he's he's doing a cover swipe of all his ASM that he that he was doing. Yeah. So he gets to three hundred. So in all honesty, I believe his three hundred cover is gonna be the same thing as Spider Man three hundred. But you know, for me personally, I think that they're just, you know, because it's going to be the 300th book, I personally think that it's just going to be overprinted to high hell. And then you're going to just have variants all across the board. You know, you get all those store variants, all these exclusive variants from all these different artists. So I think I think there's just going to be a giant abundance of it. I don't know. But, you know, with image is different. I mean, Marvel, you know, that happens with Marvel all the time. They throw a whole bunch of variants out there. But I don't know about image if they're going to go that far with that many variants. I mean, with them, they maybe you know a couple, but I don't see them going yeah. to too, making too much viral because they really don't go that far. But they might make a lot of copies because they probably think you know think of a big sale. You know, everybody wants to get an issue. You know, so because exactly. could... you know, I mean, I, I I just think about it in the sense of like when Image first came out, you know, and everybody was buying gazillions of books, and you know, they're like, hey, I'm gonna invest in Image because Image is gonna you know pay for my kids' college and. You know, they printed so much that, you know, people don't realize, you know, you find some of these books, you know, they're like worthless, you know, and sometimes, like I say, you know, if you get books, man, personally, you know, it's, uh, it's a conversation I had with the with the boy who has seven, you know, I said, if, if it's something you like, you know, buy it, 
you know, but if it's something that you're just feeling like, hey, I'm, I'm going to turn around, make my money. Yeah, you might make money. Sometimes you might lose out. So mm-hmm. my biggest thing is like, you know, always buy what you like. You know, don't don't go with the hype of everything else because exactly. you're going to go broke. Exactly. You know, that's that's that was, yeah, that's that's like me. I buy a lot of t- different titles because I like a lot of different characters, you know, and I read I read, you know, different stories. Some people might like it. Some people might not. Some people saying that it's going to price going to go up. But, but I mean, I just got a whole bunch of different titles and and people are like, you know, why are you collecting that? You know, why are you collecting that hero? Just because I just like it. You know, just I like reading the stories. I, maybe I just like the, the character itself, you know. So I see DK Comics and Cosplay just joined up. Yo, what's up, man? Thank you for uh, showing up. You said what's up to you, Thoro and me. So hey, what's up, DK Comics? Appreciate it. You gotta check that channel. That's they're pretty. They're pretty funny too. The DK comics and cosplay. So yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I, I've been trying to. I've been trying to make so much time trying to check out everybody, man. You know, like I said, I'm. I'm trying to show my love all across the board to everybody. Oh, uh, you know, a lot of people. It's a lot of people. So yeah. So uh, Kachun, uh, Kachun, I think I send you uh, a message. Uh, you asked me. Uh, what do you ask me? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. See, he he asked me when's uh to be on my one of my auctions. So I I, I send you a message, uh, for the one that's uh available. If you if you are available on that day, you let me know. Uh, I forgot which one I send it to you. I know I send it to you on a notification. Just check it out, Kachun. All right. So yeah, so yeah, so that was my day, man. I just got back off the bus not that long ago. You know, it was, it's been a long day, bro. Uh, two hours of sleep. I only I, I slept on the bus there and the bus coming back. You know, oh, damn. yeah, it's been a long day. So I'm off today. I'm off tomorrow. So tomorrow uh, I, I receive uh, some packages. So I know one of them is, is some pickups for the week. And I believe the other, one, the other ones are some auction wins that I that I won. Uh oh. Open, open a package up, man. Show, show it, show it to the world, man. What you want to see something already? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see something. What you got, man? So you want to see the, the pick for the week, or you want to see an auction one? Uh, let me see an auction one, man. Auction. See, auction. Right. see what you want. All right, let's see. Let's let's start off with this right here. All right. I believe this is from Comic Spectre. All right. Uh, he, let me see which auction he was on. He was with John, uh, John with kids. I'm expecting there was a, a few, I think five different, six different. I forgot which one. Yeah. Quit, so, oh man, well, if, it, if it's from Common Inspector, man, you know, you know, there's some fire inside that envelope oh, right there. Oh, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I forgot who I was bidding against, too. See, I wasn't even ready because usually I like to pre open these, so you're gonna have to give me some time. So, let's see what's going on in the chat. Oh, could you then go check? All right, go check. Again, I don't know exactly, you know. You still, you got snow by you, Jose? Yeah, man, we did. It, it was the most random thing, man. You know, I'm, you know, I, I live in Virginia now. Like I told you, it's, it's just random as hell, man. They, they, all these weather people here, man. They, they can't tell the weather for nothing in the, in this world. They were, they were making it seem like, you know, there was, there wasn't gonna be anything. And next thing I know, I look outside my window, and it's just freaking, just snowing like crazy. Yeah, I know. So, man. My snow does not melt, man. My snow, I mean, the roads are good, but the snow on the side, they're still piled up there. I see who that just joined us in the, in the group, man. What's up? Who what's that? up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing, Hello. man? What's going on? Who that? He just came off a fresh vacation, man. How are you doing? That's the thing. <laughs> I, feel, I feel refreshed. <laughs> Every <laughs> minute. And broke. <laughs> yeah, oh, that too. Yeah, refreshed and broke. I, I'll take that, though. <laughs> that's all right. That's what vacations are for. I was already talking about trying to w- w- plan in the next one. I'm ready to get out of here again. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I was talking to some of the guys on the other, uh, you know, in the hangouts and stuff. I said, man, we need to all get together and try to do like a cruise or something like that as a group, man, because that'll be like, that'll be crazy, man, because like since everybody's not really you know, majority of the people don't live, you know, you know, around each other or work with each other. Yeah. It, like, it'd be so easy for people, you know, for like this type of, for that type of thing to happen. Now, man, that, that sounds like a good idea, man. You never know, you know. 
Never, not I, gotta, I can take a vacation. I saw our own little comic uh, comic con cruise. Did <laughs> have uh, I'd, I'd go, I'd go broke on that cruise. Who that? That's that's what would happen. You imagine the, uh, on a cruise they have all the artists and and writers and guest stars that on a cruise and you get everything signed. They, they there's no way for them to go. They got you know they got to sign. <laughs> It's like you're freaking trapping them right there and just being like, hey, you're going to sign my book because you ain't leaving. I got, I got a note from Comic Spectre. I hope you enjoyed your book. Thank you for your support, Comic Spectre. All right, Comic Spectre, thank you, man. Appreciate everything he's done, too. Man, never go wrong with tape. Blue tape, baby. Bring the blue tape. Uh, blue tape, blue tape is the best tape, man. I'm, I'm that's, getting, a, that's the same way I wrap up my comics, man. It's a lot easier to take off, and yeah. you know you don't have to fear that struggle of doing your comics tape. I'm glad or... what, any yeah, comments? big line. Did you uh, yeah. you see this? Did you see this beauty I picked up, man? Let me tell you what. Hold on, this gorgeous beauty right here. Yeah, hold on, I'll put you on. Oh damn, where'd you get that? Nah, man, this is this is horrible, man. This is that new Lasco cover, man. That, that man is killing me. He he killed me, man. I, I, I was looking at that thing and, and I was forced to buy that one. Because uh, you know, I'm, I'm reading that just as run. And I was forced to buy one because my LCS, everybody left all those Lasco covers and took the A covers. So I was pissed. So I was like, damn, I was like, I gotta take this. Cause I mean, freaking <laughs> Batman, the way he drew Batman, he looked like he's just, you know, one more hamburger away from retirement. And then uh, Superman looked like, you know, he was disemboweled. Check, check, check that. What, is, what issue number is that? It's horrible, man. What, what? This is 19. But I, I, I hated the living crap out of this cover, man. He, he just, I mean, he, he, just, he destroyed this. Oh, uh, he, he gave me a free book too. <laughs> All right. Oh, really? I, I think I think like I think life was messing with everybody. Is All right. Let's see. Digging into this stuff here. What we got? I guess this is the free book. Transformer. You know, Kron, You belong to me. Number six. That's the free book. Yeah, I'll just put the highlight on. Let me go. So, thank you very much. I'm guessing, well, it says Transformers, so Transformers. No, I like that cover, man. Very nice. I read that. Pretty thick, too. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Connor. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. Wow. Maybe Spider Man. That's man. nice, man. I like that. Can never go wrong with Spider Man. Look at that. Nah. This is a variant edition, so oh, that's nice. You could, you could go wrong on Spider Man if Liefeld friggin' draws it. Yeah. All right, major Spider Man. That was number three. I got number two, variant. No one, that's nice. Yeah, that's a dope cover. I like that. Venom's looking really cool. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, okay. uh, let's see, my Spider Man one, Perillo. This is Perillo, variant, variant. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted I wanted this one, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, that's that's a nice cover, man. Very nice, very nice. This the Perillo variant virgin virgin variant. Yeah, Perillo Perillo paints his ass off, man. His paintings are crazy amazing. I was trying I was looking at his store to try to get an original painting of his. 
Yeah. Oh uh, man, those those things are ridiculous, man. They're like going five thousand dollars and up. The funny thing is, when he was on my auction, he he was selling these, and I didn't bid on them. You know, this and everything because I was trying to save up money for the con. Then he was on uh another show. Oh, hold on, Kachun. Hey, big line to the three thirty Saturday sounds perfect for you. All right, you're in, Kachun. Thank you very much. I'll put you down. You're gonna be in there on three thirtieth. That's a Saturday auctions, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So that's one person for, for that day. Yeah, man. Just like I said, I got people constantly asking me, man. Uh, Layfield got us to stop. Oh, the sick artist. Yeah, Joker. Sick artist. Hey, Flaming Sheila. What's up, man? Thank you for showing up. I mean, uh, who would win the fight, Layfield or Ramada Jr.? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's, who would win? That's a good question. Yeah, it's a good question, Evan. Let's see what the people say out there. What do you guys what do you guys think, man? Who will win the fight? Lefield Ramada Jr. I'd rather have covers done by Ramada Jr. than Lefield. Well, there's one for Ramada. Hey, easy game hunter. What's up, man? Another warrior in the house. Thank you for showing up. He lie, he lie. See, I don't know about see, I don't know about is it like Ramada Jr. is not as bad as life for in my opinion. Nah, he's not, man. But he he changed, man. He I don't know what what the hell he's doing now, because you know compared to what you know his earlier stuff that he was doing, you know, and compared to now, uh, I don't know. It's almost like he's like mixing it up with you know with Frank Miller style. Type. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a connecting five. Okay, yeah, uh, Amazing Spider number one, another variant. Maybe these are coming to come. You know, the funny thing is, I think I, I, <laughs> I'm I having these books come in. I think I ordered some. No. This is Amazing Spider-Man number four. Very cover. Yeah, man, uh, those, are, those are some nice covers, man. You got, you got a nice little lot, man. Yeah, I, I think I got a great deal, too, man. I don't think it was that much. And then I got number Amazing Spider number five very cover, and that was and that was basically uh, Amazing Spider Man lot that I won. So those were it right there. Oh damn! I think I think I remember that auction too now. Now that I'm one, now I'm seeing those books that you got there. Yeah. Uh, I forgot was it, was it all about comics or I forgot I I can't remember who. Yeah, who, I think I think that's. It was a group. I think that's who it was. Yeah, I think right. it was all about comics. Yeah. So give a shout out to you about. Thank you very much, Comics Lecter. All right. Let me just take this off of me. All right. So what was that in the chat going on? I cannot equal fight. Anyone? Junior is like Kirby. Oh, so yeah. Junior draws uh, similar to uh, Kirby. So yeah, Kirby. Kirby was the man still back in the day. I love these Kirby books. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. When did you yeah, get back? I'll figure out for you, Marila. Huh? What? Sorry. Who? What? <laughs> <laughs> what you saying? I said, when did you get back from your vacation? Um... Uh... Thursday night, late Thursday night, they delayed our flight. <laughs> so, uh, luckily, my wife had a hotel, so we just chilled at the hotel when we got off the boat. Okay. And um, just hung out there until the flight was, you know, going to leave out, but they delayed our flight to like 8, 8, 10 or 8, 20, something like that. Uh, it was crazy, man. Don't you just hate when that happens? Yeah. It would, uh, I mean, if she didn't have the room. It would suck if it had just been walking around Tampa, but I mean, I got back that day, got my Cuban rum, got my Cuban coffee, got my Cuban cigars. So I'm ready to rock. <laughs> you definitely are. I couldn't find any uh any any type of you know shops that had comic books. I was hoping. You know, oh, stumble yeah. stumble on some of that stuff, but find something stumble into golden, you know, treasure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's what everybody's talking about. It's like, man, if they haven't gotten any books from you know since the sixties. Yeah, they probably got old stuff. 
Yeah, they probably got a lot, you know a lot of golden age and maybe a little touch of the silver age, not much. It'd be like that all that first beginning of the '60s, you know. So I don't know, but I didn't I didn't see any. I mean, it's it's a lot to do out there, man. If anybody ever goes, yeah, uh, I would say test it out with a cruise, and then hopefully our relations get better with them in the future, where you can go for an extended period of time. Mm. So how was the weather in Cuba? Good, hot? Man, it was hot. We <laughs> <laughs> said caliente. Uh, uh, Mulo Caliente, very hot, man. Oh, my God. It was, it was hot in Tampa, hot in Cuba. We get back to Tampa, it's cold. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's going on? That's why I can't, can't. And then when I left, I don't know if I told you guys, when I left, I was I actually started losing my voice. <laughs> Wow. So I was yeah, like, I remember yeah. you were talking about that, man. Yeah, yeah I was, uh, so I think I had laryngitis. Um, but yeah, they, but they, gave me some med- they gave me some medicine before I got on the ship, and I started feeling better about that Saturday or Sunday. But I mean, that was terrible. I was like, I'm about to go on vacation and I'm sick. <laughs> I see, uh, let's see the chat, Raw Diago. Uh, who went to the Big Apple Comic Con today? I did. I was there. I don't know if you were there. I gave a little thing. Uh, holy crap, you just compared Kirby around. Blast with me. Oh, boy. And James uh, says, I got to go. See you next time. Thank you for showing up, man, James. See you See you around. Uh, yeah, uh, Raul, uh, I was at the Com- Big Apple Comic Con. I just came back from it. And uh, I don't know if you was there, but... Uh, Went there to get some books signed, and uh, Mr. Sarenko didn't show up. And I did get two books signed, though. I did get, I did get two. So I picked up a couple of books, showed it up. So do you, um, Jose, you get any any Comic Cons in, in, in the area you're at? Like, what's, what's the closest mm-hmm. you're going to be? Yeah, I, d- I do, man. I mean, uh, the best one that I could think about is going to Baltimore Comic Con. You know, and that's probably like maybe like an hour and forty five minutes from me, which is which isn't too bad. And I mean I don't I don't mind taking that drive. Uh-huh. Um the other one I know that they do is uh one in Richmond and then I know another big one is in Virginia Beach. I haven't been to any of those. The ones that I've been going to are usually local, which uh-huh. they're a little bit smaller. You know, like the last one that I went was back in February and that was uh they have a V8 Comic Con okay. in Virginia, so that was it. Yeah, that was the last one that I went to. I mean, I picked up picked up a uh, ton tons of books out there, man. I even made I made a couple of trades, okay. for a couple of books and stuff. So I mean, yeah, I mean, it was it wasn't nothing major, but the next major one that they got is also uh, the one in DC, and that's a little bit closer. It's an uh, amazing con, uh-huh. but I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of that city, so I really I really don't like going out there. And I used to work out that way, so. Not not too big on uh, trying to go out there. What and, the Philly? Um, what happened? The Philly? You said Philly? No, no, in uh, DC. Oh, in DC. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know about DC, but um, how far are you from like the Philly con when it comes? Because that's pretty. Bad. No, that's that's like literally three and a half hours, man. It's not it's not too bad to get out there to Philly, man. Yeah. So, okay. Because for me, from where I'm at to get to Philly, it's about two hours. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so oh, okay. yeah, I mean, because yeah, they got they got what is that, Wizard World or whatever? Yeah, yeah, that's there in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, let me go to the chat. The route goes, I went to buy only like three stands of figures. I went to, and he says he got to see William Shatner when he was leaving. And I'm a figure collector, I collect with my kids. All right. Well, well, at least he he saw William Shatner. I I was there, Raul, in the beginning when they first opened up, and William Shatner was late. And the time I left, I don't know. I didn't really go check his table before I left, but um, you know, I went up his, his table a couple of times, and he wasn't there. So I didn't. I I I missed that, and I'm seeing Captain Kirk himself. So I was a, a little upset about that. Uh, Joker says Thoro gotta come out to ECC. Uh, yeah. 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 No, I was talking to Joker earlier, man. I was telling him I'm gonna see if I can make it out there, but I definitely because I was actually thinking about going to Big Apple Con, and I, I really didn't have the opportunity to, so and didn't have the time either because of work. But um, no, definitely, man. I want to try to make it out there. You know, try to try to hook up with all you guys out there. You know, whoever's going, 
you know, try to meet a couple people, meet new faces. And definitely, man, that, that'd be cool, cool as hell for me to be able to go out there and make it to it. All right. So, I mean, yeah, I'm thinking going to too. So that'd be cool. We can all hang, you know, get together. So if you're going to go there, I, I definitely, I'm off. I check next schedule. So I definitely going to uh, get some tickets to go. So if you're going to go, yeah. ahead, you, know, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Raul says he left around 2.30. Yeah, I left I left the comic. I left Big Apple at 1. And again, I didn't go check his table at the time when I left because I was already exhausted. But he said he, he left at 2.30. So imagine he was, how long did he stay? He must have stayed for like an hour or something like that. I mean, he don't think he would stay that long. Yo, but that's, but that's crazy, though, because when I was looking at the, the, uh, the website for Big Apple Comic Con, it was saying that there was like a VIP event or something like that for William Shatner where you got to pay to meet him at like nine in the morning. Yeah. So are they going to refund the people their money because he wasn't there? He was late or? Well, I don't know because I think they tried to when he, when from what I heard was when he finally showed up, I guess they were going to get that done, you know, to get those special, you know, photos out of the way. So maybe that's why it also took a little longer before he got to the table. I'm not, I, I, I'm not quite sure. But the last time I checked the table, he wasn't there yet. So, you know, I don't know. But I guess he's gonna be back tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah, because I, I, I know, I know that dude. That dude charges. Uh, when I went to Baltimore Comic Con, he charged like a hundred dollars for, for an autograph. And I, you know, I was like, it's crazy, but you gotta make your money. And he's gonna get it though. That's the that's the reason why. Yeah. Charge hundred because he will get it, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 too. yeah, I was counting the people in line, man, at Baltimore Comic Con, and I was like, man, that guy looked like he was literally close to making almost ten grand right there, and I was like, that's, that's freaking crazy. Yeah. You know, it's that's you know he's gonna get in the, and wherever he goes, he, that's it's he's the popular guy, man. You know, you everybody knows, you know. When they're hot, they're hot. You know, like right now, everybody knows George Perez not signing no more, so you know his lines going to be outrageous. I mean, he, for years, everybody tried to get his autograph anyway. He's, he's been a popular artist, but now it's really going to get ridiculous. So, yeah. you know, so it's just it is what it is. And, you know, that's what they charge, and people are going to pay, and you got to pay just like everybody else. So, you know. Yeah, because even, even the other person that charges a lot, too, is uh, Hulk Hogan. And he was there, too, and I think he was charging $100, too. Really? Yeah, I wanted to get an autograph from him, and then when I saw it was a hundred dollars, I just walked away. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not paying a hundred dollars." The whole stuff. Yeah, as much as I wanted one, I was like, ah, "You know what? This is what it is." Well, so, if you had to choose between getting an autograph picture from William Shatner or the Hulk, and yeah, the Hulk stuff, you know, a hundred dollars, you know, there's really no contest. I mean, it's true. Because, yeah, because you know what I was thinking about doing for William Shatner was. I was gonna bring a Michael Myers mask, and I wanted him to autograph that. Oh really? That would that well, anything with an autograph from him, it, it would have been great. You know, I I, I want to actually see the guy. Then you know maybe you know I I had definitely had money on me because I really didn't spend too much on on stuff that was there. So maybe I would have got an autograph picture from him, which would have been awesome. Bonnie, stop. No, no, no. I, I thought he was saying something. So yeah, so yeah, so uh, yeah, so cool, man. If you make that East Coast Comic Con, man, uh, you know, I'll make it also. So yeah, I'll give you guys up, up, man. You know, because now nah, it'd be cool to you know to, to to meet a lot of the New York Warriors and stuff in person. You know, meet you in person and things. So you know, it'd definitely be cool to do that. So hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna see, man. Hopefully, I had a time and you know, open schedule to do it. Yeah, but it's funny though because you know. When you see them in real life, in person, they don't look like what they look like on, on the screen. Because they, yeah. when they saw me, they were like two things. First, they thought I was like fatter than than I would look, and they thought I was a lot shorter than I was actually <laughs> more than what they expected. And when I saw them, you know, I didn't expect to see their size the way they they were. That was pretty, you know, different there. So it was that it was pretty funny. So we're like all joking. We're like none of us look like what we thought we did on on screen. So that was. Yeah. It. So we did take a group picture though. Uh, uh, Joker said uh, it's on Instagram. So check the picture. I can't Instagram stuff, so, but I was there, so I know what the picture looked like. 
So, you know, check out the photo. You'll see us, you know, getting together. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it on E-Rod's Instagram earlier today. Oh, did you? I saw that you guys had gotten together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Uh, e Rock got some great books from uh, Big Apple Con. Yeah, he showed me some of the, the books he picked up. And yeah, he got some of the deals. So he must have found some more stuff. Those, are, like I said, man, it was crowded. It was a lot of books, a lot of everything. My daughter bought some t shirts. There was so much things. It was like a lot of, lot of different things, man. It was just incredible. It was it was just getting packed and packed. Just trying to get to a box, man. <laughs> you know, just to go through the box was pretty long. I uh, see I got a new subscriber. I see Raul. Oh, Raul, oh, oh, thank you very much, man. Thank you. Uh, yo, sub everybody up, man. Sub who that sub? Everybody, Raul. Hit that notification button. Hit that notification button. When a show or sub video comes up, man, you won't miss nothing. I see Brian Space 227. What's up, man? He says, who that? Where's the hat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. But, uh, hey, uh, uh, William Shatner came to Wizard World in New Orleans uh, in January. Yeah. What I, got to sit and I, got, yeah I got to sit in one of his panels. It was pretty good. It was oh, pretty good. I didn't. Was he late or did he show up on time? I don't know. He was, he was on time. He was on time, man. And he can, you know, I think he likes, if I remember correctly, he likes to drink wine. Really? If he likes, I, I think he is he. I I'm trying to remember correctly, but I think he likes to drink wine, or he's a wine. He has a wine business or something. But you know, New Orleans is known for alcohol, so he wasn't gonna be late. <laughs> <laughs> he was not gonna be late. I mean, food and alcohol, you can't, you can't. But uh, he was there. Lines weren't too bad. Yeah. But uh, I was like, I had to decide decision. Like you know, I I, I met him, so I was happy with that. Yeah. I ain't take no picture. I ain't get an autograph. But I, you know, met him at the, um, the Q and A he had, and I had to make a decision. It was either you know get an autograph picture of William Shatner or um, buy my two grails. I ended up getting. That's <laughs> a tough choice, man. Yeah. So I chose the grails. Chose the grails because at least I got to meet the guy. You know. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted to see the guy. You know, I, I I'm a big fan of Star Trek now, so. Just to see him, it would have been cool, you know. He, he's a uh, he's a uh, a lot. Well, he looks. You can tell he looks his age. Was saying like because he's older. He's like in his eighties, I think. So he does look. He he doesn't look in his that old, but he does. You can tell he's you know he's been aging pretty good. It yeah. looks like you know he looks more in his seventies than eighties. Okay. But uh, but he does. He is like he does have that belly, and you're like, man, come on, come on, Will, bro, you're not gonna live too long. You got that big old. <laughs> That big beer belly. <laughs> he, he's living. He's living the life, man. He loving. But it. he's having fun, though. He loved it, dude. He had so much fun with people and telling jokes and telling stories. I mean, he literally his Q and A might have had like three or four questions because he tells a story. Every every question was a story. Really? <laughs> yeah, so it's like his Q and A was like three, four questions. Yeah, you know, everybody's like, I had a simple question, and he told us a story about him <laughs> going down the. It was like it was ridiculous. It was, it was funny though. It was funny. Fun man. Come on. <laughs> I see Scott Foss said, "What's up, line? Who that in Thorough, man?" Scott What's Foss. up, man? I see Scott Foss all the time in the auctions, man. He's always out there, always hanging out. So, yeah, man. I don't know. Oh, uh, I forgot when that East Coast. I think East Coast coming like in two more months, I believe. Yeah, and there's I'm something, something dropping like that. Like that I think, so. Yeah. So, yeah, like, so what 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 cars you get by you in New Orleans? What's what's like you know what's the big one like or, or like the small ones that like you go into in your area like? Um, the Wizard World is actually a pretty big convention, and it's you know gear for everybody. Actually, you know you got the celebrities, but they do have a lot of dealers that come because it's the first convention of the year. Uh -huh. Um, so we get you know we get big dealers from the East Coast, West Coast. Uh, more from the east coast we get dealers that come down um but we had about seven probably big dealers name dealer like if i say the name you look them up and you can find a website mm -hmm. and we had about two or three local local dealers um my daughter wants my hat <laughs> but uh she uh but they had you know they had a good mixture of stuff on that convention 
this year we're actually going to have two more conventions. One's uh, for the first year. It's called Big Easy Con. It's going to be ju- June, first weekend of June. So it's like June 1st or 2nd. And they're trying something new. They got a lot of name, big names. They're going to be, they've been announcing, uh, like every day they're announcing something crazy, some two names. So I'm waiting for to hear more of the artists and uh, maybe creators. And it's kind of hard to do them so early because things can change. But they got a lot of celebrities. Now. I know they had Ron Perlman. Um, who else? I think they had the Hulk, uh, Lou Ferrigno. They got a lot of people, a lot of celebrities. They had a few artists that I saw. But I'm waiting for more announcements for that. But it's Big Easy Con in June. And then they have a smaller convention. I don't know the date of that one, but it's uh, the Mighty Con. They've been going around the country going to like little small, you know, uh, yeah. smaller areas because they're not going to be in New Orleans. They're going to be like right outside of New Orleans, like probably like 15 minutes away. And uh, that one's really good because it's small. You probably can you can dig a lot through old you know books, find some books and you, you've been looking for. I saw I found a, I found about ten issues of Ninja Turtles Volume One uh, from a guy who just had them, <laughs> and um, so that, I like that one because it's like more smaller. Um, but you know we got those three conventions, nothing nothing crazy. But I think that Big Easy Con is going to be the one that's going to be like you know probably end up being like a. Like a, they're gonna, they're trying to turn it into I know like a C two E two or something. Like, I know that's what they're gonna try to do, because they don't really have nothing like that in the South, like a C two E two or New York Comic Con or San Diego. All those up north or on the West Coast or East Coast. They don't yeah, have the nothing. Wizard, the Wizard one is is the one that it's the same. You know, they're the ones that go from state to state. So yeah, that, that you you, it, you know you have the same as everybody else. You know, they go from uh. But how far is is that from you to go to like with the Wizard World one? Is that like a couple hours? And then the local ones, Comic Con, there, like you said, they're like fifteen minutes away. Um, the Wizard World one is like straight downtown at the convention at the convention center. Um, Big Easy Con is gonna be at the convention center as well um, when they do it. But the the smaller one, that's the one that's gonna be outside. Um, somebody was calling me. I didn't even hear the rest of the question. <laughs> the the distance like you know the wizard world you said it's downtown that's, that's yeah. like, what about an hour or two oh uh, no well no uh the wizard world downtown and the big easy downtown that's probably about 30 minute drive to, oh, for so me to get through get through all the traffic yeah to get down there you know it's much about 30 minutes that's good. so you yeah pretty- yeah, for the, you know, for us, it's like you know, you know I, the Big Apple in New York. Even though I'm from New York or whatever, but I, you know, I had to drive them from Pennsylvania. But then the uh, East Coast, that's going to be in Jersey. Terrific Con, that's always Connecticut. I mean, those they're pretty big ones. I mean, I, I probably have some small ones in this area, but you know, I guess, like you said, they're not the big ones. I mean, to me, I think they're still kind of small. But you could get some, find some nice books in these small little comic cons, man. That you know to to dig through. They were they were bringing some books a lot on this one. I was just hoping to get mm. something. I, I kind of missed out because I was dealing with the CGC line most of the time. But like I said, I picked up about three books. You know, so you know the, you always got to check. You never know what they bring. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta. Uh, I like. What I do when I go to my conventions, like it's gonna be harder to do that for the Big Easy since it's only two to, two days. But I know for Wizard World that Friday, since it's like not busy at all, kind of slow. I walk around that sucker, scope it out, see where all those dealers at, so I know where the deal is at. And then, like you say, you could you know you look through, but uh, like the smaller conventions, you can find some nice stuff if you don't mind just digging a little bit. You know, you find those books that uh you know used to be dollar books maybe. And they still list them for like a two dollars or three dollars, and now they're selling for twenty five, thirty dollars. You got to go to those kind of smaller conventions. You can find those. So let me ask you guys: If you guys go to a comic con, what what's your strategy when you go there? Do you go look for like the key books? Do you hit the dollar books? Do you hit like half price books? Like what what is it like when you go there? How do you like proceed to go in there to look for books? Well, for me, I I know I try to I I usually have my list of what grail well uh grails, but my books I'm looking for that year. Um, so I see what dealers might have those. I just see who has them, 
and I don't really say what I'm interested in. I mean, I just look around, and say, oh, you know, look at them to see who has the books I'm looking for. You know, then I like to uh, dig a little bit, and you know, certain little bins they have. Um, I kind of stay away from like the trades, even though sometimes you get some good deals on trades. Um, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, so I, I might get some trades at the end of the, like the last day of con because usually they get like 50, 60, 70 percent off of trades. If it's something that you, you know, so you don't have to get all those back issues uh, a certain run. Um, but I, that's how I like I like to hit those dealers up to see what they have and what they brought for, is, you know, maybe certain keys. And then, um, you know, look and see what they got in those little boxes, too. But the best thing I could tell people when I when I when when I go around looking at stuff, try to bring cash. If you can, you get a better discount um, and try to make a. Uh, uh, get a rapport or you know relationship with certain dealers. So when you're going around looking for books, you know looking for certain things, they know what you want. And then uh, when you have that good relationship with them, they're easy to trade with. Mm. Um, that's what I've noticed with uh, dealing with. Some people might not like that. Some people might like them. But uh, Greg Reese, I don't know if you got y'all guys heard of him, but uh, his his son come down, um, got a good relationship with those guys. Um, so I think I've, I've, I traded a couple books to get those two books I got and they gave me like 80 to 90% with the fair market value for those books I traded. So, I mean, dealers don't give that, you know, for books, they really don't, not, not 90% of fair market value, you know, so, and they knew I was trading towards something. So that's us, uh, you know, you got to get that good rapport with them and then, you know, dig, dig, dig. And try to get as much as you can. I don't know how you know if you can get a good stack of books, you get a better deal. Yeah. Don't just go for one book because you go for one book, you it's hard to get a good deal on one book. How about how you, Jose? How, or how do you perceive? It? Yeah, definitely, man. Um, I I go in with that same mentality too, man. I go in with a list, so you know whatever whatever it is I want to find. So like pretty much for the first thing I go do is just go into the long boxes like right away from the get go. As soon as I get there, I just start going into the long boxes because I know once more people start coming in, it starts becoming a lot harder to get into those boxes. And so many people start blocking you, start doing all kinds of different things to try to do, you know, to try to get in your way. So in order to prevent that, just pretty much go in there and, you know, just handle your business that way first. And then like Huda said too, you know, a good strategy is always bring cash with you. Literally, when, when I go to these comic cons, I literally go like if I was Floyd Mayweather. I'll be carrying a suitcase full of cash and I just run everywhere after that. And that's when I start hitting all the wall books, you know, start building relationships with a lot of these dealers, trying to, you know, trying to tell them, hey, you know, I'm going to buy this book. I'm buying that book. You know, can, can you hook me up on this book? So it's just, you know, everybody has their own little strategy and way of going into the cons and doing their things. And, you know, and as of late, too, I started getting into, you know, into the into figures and everything like that. So. You know, I pretty much go into that too. So if you know, if I have a dealer that's selling comic books as well as figures, you know, I usually buy a couple of figures and then I throw in the comic books and try to buy more of that as well. So you know, but yeah, man, that's that's pretty much. You know, it's everybody has a strategy, but I definitely, you know, if you go in there, definitely make a list for yourself because then at least you know right away what you're gonna look for and you can avoid being stuck in those long boxes for hours because I mean those those things can take you days to completely go through. Yeah. So, but do you guys hit like the dollar boxes? Do you, do you guys go like to where it says like the silver bronze like boxes? Oh uh, yeah, I hit up the silver silver bronze boxes usually first, because uh, they usually they have so many people buy those dollar boxes. They kind of bypass the silver bronze, yeah. and then a lot of collectors are looking for new stuff too. So like that silver and bronze gets passed up so much, and you can find some good grades and stuff. Also, what else I do? What a lot of people also have do, been doing lately because. I've been trying to get autographs. If I know certain people are going to come there, um, try to get those books together, get them autographed. First thing Friday, like usually that's when I'm going to Friday. I kind of walk around, see where everybody's at. Then I go straight to those artists or writers, get those autographs on that Friday or whatever the first day is, because that's when they have usually no line. Uh, unless, you know, unless it's a bigger place than, uh, than, you know, than New Orleans, but they might have something, but, 
down here, that's how I hit those artists up really, really first. And then, yeah, digging those silver and bronze, if I'm digging in some uh, back, uh, some bins. Also, a few of the dealers that I, you know, like, I think it was Greg Reese, Dale Roberts, a few of those guys, bigger guys, they'll have uh, long boxes of slabs, too. And don't pass up digging at them, you know, don't just look at the wall. You know, you look at the wall and look at that silver age, you get, you know, mesmerized yeah. and forget. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So my my game plan was basically the same thing. Uh, I bring cash, and then you know I had cards for like other stuff, but not not for books, like, like uh, for merchandise stuff, right? So of course my my game plan right off the bat was to get my books that I burned signed out of it because I know how long that's gonna be. I know that the line's gonna be long just to get a signature, and if I'm gonna get them graded, it's gonna take me all that, and it still took me uh, all that time. And it still didn't work out that way. So once I, you know, I did start the roll with with that, I started immediately going uh, to the silver bronze boxes, you know, digging through those first. I I stayed away from the dollar boxes, the, the dollar books. It, there was like just packs of people in them, and like you said, you know, and if you like you said, if you could find a nice group of books in those silver bronze, you know, and then you like with with that stack, you can wheel and deal. You know, maybe you'll get something off the rack. They'll take a couple of dollars off. They, they, they see that you're spending money there. Like you said, you you, you show the, the cash, you know, and that's what they like. But I noticed in this Comic-Con, from other ones that I've gone to, there is more and more and more graded books in the boxes now, not just on the shelves. used to be mm -hmm. just on the shelves behind them. They are in the boxes in front of them now. And I'm talking about signature books. Blue label books, 9.8, 9.6s. I mean, they were, I mean, a lot of them. All up, I was shocked, you know, to see how many they were. I mean, it that thing is starting to grow. You mm -hmm. know, you know, books, graded books is, is they're all over the place now. So yeah, that, that's why you can't pass up those those long boxes of graded books. Is you'll find some good graded books in those long boxes for cheap. Yeah. Like, Key stuff. <laughs> You know, so and you know, you, like I said, you have to go with a game plan. You got to be prepared. You can't walk around with a bag. You got to have, you know, one of these that you put your books in to protect them. I brought two of these. You know, the one I had was the books that I brought in, and then, of course, like you know, once I got them out, but when, if, 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 I, I use this. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Spider-Man boot people. Yeah. They sent these boxes come per like it's perfect for foot. You can put probably like thirty books in here. Yeah. It was perfect, man. I put, I took a, you know, that a couple of those. I'm just holding that like it's nothing. So yeah. like, because if not, I would have bought something like that. And then when I saw that came, I was like, you know, I was like, man, that's perfect. Yeah, you 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 got to man, you know, and I and I brought two boxes like that, you know, just in case, you know, to put them in because you know you don't want the books to get damaged after all the homework and everything you just went through. And then you're like, oh man, look what just happened to my books. Because some people don't think. They come in with bags and 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 this that everything. That you know you can't do that. You're gonna damage your books. But uh, yeah, I had a good time. You know, so now I'm waiting for the next one. So, but now I'm thinking now. You know, I'm that Moon Knight. I think I'm gonna have to send it to Erod, and I'm gonna probably send some of my Nova books. See, because right now I'm I, I want to send some books to get graded, but now I'm like thinking, I think I'm gonna get them pressed before I send them. You know? Yeah, you got at least let them get screened. You know that's that's what I'm I'm looking at. I'm getting some books together for my next go around. I don't know if I'm gonna do five or ten, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let them let them get pressed first and and see what happens. But uh, but yeah, that's my next go around too. I'm gonna be doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna know if if the pressing is definitely gonna get checked because. You know, I've, I've, like I said, I got about over 500 graded books that I sent in that were mine. And I, you know, after a while, I know what type of grades I get back on an average. So mm -hmm. I sent them again impressed. And, and I noticed that the averages are now going higher than usual. Then I know it's yeah. So we're, we're going to try definitely that. But I think I'm going to start sending my Nova books to get pressed. So. Yeah, because he, he he's gonna be hot soon. Yeah, he's gonna be hot soon. I I, I got a feeling. If you haven't picked up Nova, you better jump up. 
Yeah, I've been trying to get a number one. It's, 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 those are good prices you now. It's hard to find them. Well, I have one. It's only a 6.0, though. I have one. Yeah. You know. So you got to, it's a good story, too. So, you know, not just because of, uh, you know, he's coming out in the movie. It's, it, to me, I had, you know, that way back then. And I and I love the story. So again, it's one of those characters a lot of people didn't look into. I mean, it's getting hot now, but it's still a great book to pick up. So, all right, it's eight twenty-five. So it's been an hour and a half, and I see. Let's give one more shot. Look at the uh, chat. And you said you should go to Dallas Fan Expo. I heard Dallas Expo is good. Uh, I'll be there again. Sorry, man. East Coast Expo in the Metal Line. So, all right. I took you guys' advice and bought some Spider Man boot boxes. All right, tough so fight. There you go. Give me some of the coming this year. That's why. Flash Space says no slab. No slab. <laughs> it's about fun. The character that is going to absolutely blow up is Warlock when he shows up. Yeah, definitely. Heard about that. Yeah, Warlock definitely. Character that's really gonna go 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 crazy. So yeah, I, I agree with that 100, percent man. Uh, that guy shows up, forget it, man. Those books are gonna skyrocket. I don't think already that. high. They already high too. Exactly. <laughs> I don't got. I don't think I got anything in Walmart. I don't think so. I don't have. I know I don't have any. Else. Yeah. That's uh nothing. I was actually looking for looking for. Yeah. So and it wasn't specking on me either, so it wasn't like oh, I could you know spec on these to get a grill, but uh, it's kind of like out of reach right now. For I don't know if I want to spend a few hundred dollars on a book. <laughs> and there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee he's gonna be in a movie, you know. Exactly. You know, it's it's the same thing. It's the same thing with that Avenging Spider-Man. You know, for Captain Marvel. You know, a lot of people were specking the hell out of that book, man. So you know, I still haven't gotten to see the movie yet, but you know, I've been I've been hearing a lot of good things. Yeah, so, I've been hearing some good. We're going we're going to see it. Me and my daughter are going to see it tomorrow. So oh, me and real? daughter and the wife are going to see it tomorrow, and I'm gonna do a little video with her and see if she enjoyed it. Hopefully, she's enjoyed. It. <laughs> right. so, here's, here's the thing about these characters that are coming up, like Warlock, right? Now, back in the day, you know, of course, Warlock wasn't, you know, up there at all. So you used to find these Warlocks in, in, in you know, in the long box. So now, are, are these guys that, you know, going through those boxes and pulling them out now and then, you know, put them on the bike show? Or some of these guys have said, you know what, they're not even going to bother. Them in the box. In there, it's in there. So if you don't check those boxes, you might not, you know, you might find one. You know, some of these guys might not go in there and pulling them out, you know, a hot book. Because now it's hot now. And it's been in a balloon box so long, they forgot about it, you know. Mm -hmm. You got to check those boxes, man. You're going to find something, you know, that's been sitting in there. And now it's going up. And nobody, they forgot about it. Guys, you gotta, you know. I got I got a key, a couple of key books that are going down big time. That, yep. that uh, I don't know. There's no guarantee they're going to something's going to happen. But. Since they're getting Fantastic Four back, they might do it justice in a movie. Oh yeah! But but these books have gone down like a you know like a submarine. Uh, Fantastic Four forty five and forty six. Really? Um, yeah, from the TV show, the uh, Inhuman, yeah. um, and Bla uh, Black Bolt. Um, maybe they might not do Inhumans, but Black Bolt's actually a really good character, man. Yeah. He's a good good character. So. I'm not saying people to buy that book, but this is the best time to buy them. I mean, I've seen graded, like mid-grade copies go for just a couple hundred dollars. And these are graded. Yep. So you, you might be able to find like a mid-grade copy raw for less than a couple of hundred that they've been selling for graded, you, you know? So, I, I mean, I've been looking at those books, you know, just to, you know, say, oh, I might go get a 45 and 46. Not saying nothing's going to happen in the movies, but it's, they're so cheap right now. Like yeah. that's crazy. A Silver Age Fantastic Four book with multiple appearances. I like I like the Inhumans uh, comic book. I mean, I I got uh, I didn't I never got the first series. Uh, I I got like maybe the second series or third, but I did win some books off the first series off off the New York Warriors auction from Biggie, and those mm -hmm. were the first ones that I got. 
I, I think you know, that that's actually a nice uh, group to pick up. I mean, you know. Yeah, I've been looking. I've been looking. I've been like kind of watching them because I'm, you know, because they keep going down. I'm like, and I know I'm gonna get a couple. I'm probably get a forty-five and forty-six whenever, uh, you know, I can. But that uh, because the prices is going down too. It went down fast. <laughs> Unless it's a nine a nine point or higher, it's it's going down big time. Yeah, and yeah, that, that thing shot. The ones I got them for Biggie. He didn't want to let them go, but he sold them, and he's like my first in human books. From the first series? That was from the first series. Yeah, the first series is uh, pretty good, too. Yeah. So these are my first ones that I ever had from the first series. So, you know, I I, I you know, I think the story is great. That, these books are actually... Uh, Roy Thomas write those? I don't know if he wrote, wrote those. I'm kind of thinking because... I'm not quite sure. I'm not, a, I'm not 100%. Definitely, because I, I, cause I like I know I like Roy Thomas's writing. I like uh, Chris Claremont, I like all those guys. Oh, Chris Claremont. Yeah. yeah, so I won I won these five five books. Was it six, seven, eight, nine, and ten? So, oh, now you got to get one, two, one through five. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's actually in great shape. I won a great price, man. So this is actually a nice nice cover here. No, I like that cover, man. And that's a nice ass cover. But um the second series I got I got some too. That well um damn that second series is like when the Black Panther came out with the second series. Um yeah, I think it was Marvel Knights, I think it was. Oh, the, Mar the Marvel Knight edition when they had like the Black Panther had his volume two and who else? Like I think it was Inhuman. A whole bunch of people had like some Marvel Knight stuff. Marvel Knight run was actually really Really good. I thought I like that run and the dark rain run. I have, uh, yeah, that, that Black Panther. I was always a big Black Panther fan before you know, before the movie came out. So I have some of the first series. When the second series came out with the Mom and Ice, I jumped on it because I'm a big fan. Next, you know, I can't even get my hands on them no more on the volume twos. They, they're yeah, like you can't. gone. Yeah, you can't, you can't find, um, you can't find them. I found. I found number one and number two from the volume two, you know, first Shiri and at number one. Uh, that's how I found out. I didn't even know number one had a limited edition one. It had a, it has a regular one and a limited the, like a variant. Two, it, the variant. Yeah, it's a variant. You got to, and, and you don't really notice it because the cover is pretty much the same. It's only like a little thing that's like says, you know, limited edition in red or something. It's like you would never even really notice it. I see C Word joined the chat with us. C Word, Mr. Newsstand, Newsstand, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the Black Panther man, like you know, like you said, you know that's been going on lately. The movie was coming, coming out. Everybody wanted to get their hands on it. You know, now, now the the book itself is like it's hard to get, and they're charging so much money for a Black Panther book that nobody was really interested at one point, and all of a sudden now it just blew up. And not just the first series, the second series, you know, now they came out with so many different, you know, volumes of it. Now you got so many of the new ones out there, but the old ones, mm -hmm. hard to get. They used to be in the dollar boxes, those books, I remember. I found, I found those, yeah, I found those two books. I was, well, actually those three, yeah, those three books I found. It wasn't in a, it, died, it was in back issues, buried, buried mm -hmm. from this guy, but, uh, I ended up getting like 34 books for like $125 and, you know, two of those, you know, three of those books were those, you know, and I got the Shuri, I got her first appearance graded. It came back a nine, eight. So I was happy as hell. Oh man. I was like, yeah, I was happy as hell. Like I, that one. And, um, when Hawkeye became a uh, Ronin, I got that, those both came back a nine, eight and I was like happy as hell. It's like that's, you know, but yeah, that's why I, I had to get impressed though. I was I was too nervous. I was gonna send them in. They look so clean, but you know they've been sitting in the box for who knows how long, right. how many years, you know? Because it came from a guy who was collecting, and the shop bought all his whole collection. Literally, he said like sixty or seventy thousand comics. Um, and uh, so yeah, it probably been sitting back there for years. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna call it a night because I'm exhausted and <laughs> some dinner. 
So I, I thank you guys, you know, hanging out, man, all day. Uh, those to see you, man. And thank you once again for joining. Do that, yo. Glad you had a good your vacation. And I'm going to see you guys again, you know. So, um, you know. You want to you want you want to see something before you uh we, 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 yeah always I got I got a I got a book from CGC I don't know the grade because I sent it to a, a guy to press it since it's a guy to press it it had pressable defects on the back that was the only issue wrong with this book and it was originally a nine point two uh huh so we'll see what it is I don't know what it, I don't know what the grade is I don't know what the grade is yeah. I, so, I, love it. I love the surprises, man. You never know what so, you get. Take this out of the thing. So let me see. I don't even know. Take, take the paper off. I'm not trying to like, look. So, oh, snap. Look what the grade came back. Oh, <laughs> God. God. Jackpot. <laughs> it was a 9.2. What? 9.2. Went from a $150 book to a $1,000 book. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, oh, man. Man. That, that would have been, it's been sitting back there like I it came during when I was on vacation my dad picked it up and I was like all right let me see what this is and I said well you know since we're on here I'll see you know open this up oh congrats so, man damn that's nice it, it was the damage was damage the damage was right here uh -huh. back here it, you know like I guess when people you know stack I don't know how, how to describe it but it had Bad, like you know, non-color breaking creases. So probably, probably yeah. like when they put it in the in the shelf, like standing, you know, one behind the other, like on a shelf. Yeah. Um, so he pressed that out, um, and yep, nine point eight. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> makes me nine two to nine eight. Makes me wonder now if I should take the books that I got graded already, crack them, and then press them, and then send them in to see what happens. Yeah. I would say I would say try it out. Like you know, try it on ones that are not expensive. Try it out on maybe a couple ones that might not cost. You know, well, like ten dollars to press or something like that. I got, you know. I, got, I got one that you know I would like to because it came back a nine six. Okay, not pressed, right? And it's a Nova book with the one with Thor on the cover. I think it's Nova uh, Nova number four, I believe. Mm -hmm. So you know, if I can get that one to a nine eight, that. That'll blow my mind. That, yeah, it didn't. Uh, that'll tell you that you know you need to. Uh... What happens if it comes back a nine four? You know, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, you know, that's the gamble. See, that's the thing. You don't know if it's gonna go up, man. You might, you know, might come back now. It, it's hard to it's hard to say how to do it, like, cause I sent and I could have got this book back sooner, but I put it in a, di a different price uh, category. But if you put it in there, like, it's like you value it. Two, under two hundred dollars, and you know, have it on fast pass. I got those the first stack of books that I was telling you about uh, back within a month. Um, oh, wow! And um, and this is getting the guy to press them and sending them to CGC. Uh, this one took a little longer because it was in a different price category, about fifty dollars, which uh, I thought I knew that I would have, you know, changed it. But um, I mean, I would you got I would say. If you do, if you try some, you got to try at least five of them because I think the shipping stays the same for one book yeah. compared to five. So right. I would say at least try, you know, five, five of them, and then to see how it happens. But or uh, or send five in from the same run, and send five to get pressed. And if you think they all are about the same grade, then that'll tell you too. Mm. Yeah. So technically, the series that I'm be focusing on, I got three series that I'm gonna try. To I'm gonna try doing the pressing because you know I had this book so long. So um, Nova's one, right? Nova's one. Um, the Invaders is the other one, right? The, the first series, the Invaders, and then um, the uh, Marvel team up, super villain team up. That one, with, uh, you know, Samarin and, and uh, Doctor Doom. Mm -hmm. Those, those three series right there are the ones maybe I just send in to get press and see how you know that series turns out because that's usually like uh, I think I believe it's like thirty book run or something like that twenty five or th or forty one for the invaders so it's a pretty short run you know so we'll see how that works out. 
Nah, but definitely BLC, man. You definitely got to get your books pressed, brother. That uh, that Nova number one, you said that was Grady. Did you press that one? No. Oh yeah, that one. That would be like the first one I'm sending to get pressed and regraded. I actually uh, had two copies of that. One came back a three, and this one came back a six. I got rid of the three. Somebody bought that up real quick. But I guarantee you that six. Uh, well, I couldn't say guarantee. If you had the greater notes, then you could really tell. Um, yeah. You know, you had those greater notes because, like I said, mine, this book was a 9-2, and all it had, like, it was the nine color rate increases in the back. And it went from a 9-2 to a 9-8. Um, and I could see why it didn't get anything higher, you know, because they had to press out those, you know, creases, and it actually, I mean, I think I saw, like, one in the back. I saw one that he could, they didn't get out from the press. So that's I, probably why I came back in 9-8. If I remember right, a lot of my books that come back are always saying the same thing over and over and over again. And I'm and I'm guessing it's it's the spine crease. That's probably how you stored it or something, you know, over time. Well, yeah. it's been in a box for over 20 years. So I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I bought it like that or, you know, because the books I had, you know, I didn't like pay a lot for them, you know, 20, 30 years ago. I would love you. To, I would, I would love to see that 6.0 get cracked and pressed because I'm just curious to see. Yeah, you think so? You know, if it come back like an eight or something, or a nine. <laughs> well, if, if that book would come back an eight, man, I'll blow my mind. That's a, that's a big point. Oh, this blew my mind. I was expecting. You know what I was expecting with this book? I was expecting a nine six. Okay. Nine. Uh, I was. I was. Well, actually, I was fingers crossed. Nine six. I was like, it's gonna get a nine four at least. You know, with that getting that pressed out. But and I was like, maybe a nine six if they're having a good day. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a nine eight. I tell you that right now. Was not expecting a nine eight because, um, and that's not coming from the guy who pr uh, pressed it. Um, because um, it's just you know when you see it graded like that, you're like, um, if I get that out, it maybe it come up to nine four or something. You know. And that's what I was just hoping for, but I mean, I have to say it was successful. Great getting books, great. I sent ten books in, three nine eights, two nine sixes, two nine fours, and I think two nine twos. So I won this. Nothing book. under nine two. I won this book right uh, auction. Um, the reason why I wanted it because it's actually the first print of the Uncanny 248. I, I had the second print. And I send it in to get graded. Again, not pressed. And this one came back a 9-4. So Daddy. I'm thinking, you know, maybe if I would have pressed it, maybe I would have got a 9-6. I mean, again, it looks in great shape. I could have sworn it probably would have came up a little higher than a 9-4. Uh, it, it probably, it probably, if it came back a 9-4, it probably has if you don't see any spine ticks, it probably has pressable defects or something. I'm just guessing. Um, any, 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 no, any ticks, any kind of fingerprints, because those fingerprints can take off too. You know, that you don't even see. Yeah, 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 definitely fingerprints. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. yeah man, uh, you, gotta, you gotta stop pulling up those white gloves, man, to handle comic books, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, this one, well, again, I just won this one, so this one wasn't in my collection. I had second printing, but this is the first print. Oh, damn, okay. You know, so again, you know, I thought, you know, when I got it, I sent it right away. I looked over it. I was like, all right, you know. And when I looked at it, I mean, I, I, the 9-4 is not, you know, it's good. It, it says it's good, but, you know, you always try to get a little higher. Yeah, I mean, that's why I like the all those books I got. It was literally from the same deal, uh, same LCS, the original owner. Um, so I was actually happy. The only one that wasn't was the X Men, the first binary. That's the only one out of those ten books that what that didn't come from that person. Um, and I was actually thrilled, you know, to get literally, you know, everything was a nine four or higher. Um, so I, I just haven't had time to go back to that shop. Cause I mean, it's you know it's just it, it's unbelievable all the books. I need to do a video to show like all the books that that guy had. He had even more than that, but he sold a lot. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Just crazy, you know. He, he, you just got to keep hunting, and you got you got to press him, big line. You got to press him, bro. You got to oh. press him, especially, especially the keys, you know, especially I, the keys. Like you said, with that Nova run, right, I send in my Nova run. First one, I get, you know, number one comes back a six, right? And then when I send the uh, the number four in, the one with the door cover, it came back a nine four. I'm like, and these are the same books I bought from the same place, you know, and they're coming back, like, totally different. One's a six, one's a nine four. But I don't see any difference. So, you know, you never know what you're gonna get. I think it also depends what type of grader you get from CGC who's looking at your book. Mm-hmm. One might be more stricter than others, or maybe he's having a bad day and you know, he's just giving whatever you know, he's in a bad mood and just giving whatever he wants, you know. That's how I felt with those watchmen number ones I sent in. Because I sent four of them in. Um, they all basically had the same issue. Uh, and I've just seen this with all those watchmen number ones. Um, the bottom of that of the book has like that little I don't know it's like a binary tear or a little like kind of like a little. Um, yeah, I know. I know with, what uh, you're talking about. Like it's like right, like you know, right in this little area. Mm-hmm. They all I have like a little chip. Thing. All have a little chip, so I'm like, that's the only yeah. issue with this book. So I'm like, I shouldn't get penalized too much. So I'm like, I'm, I thought all of them would at least come back a nine six. And I was had fingers crossed for at least one nine eight, because um, I had one that wasn't that bad. Uh-huh. And um, but they all two of them came back nine six and two of them came nine fours and I'm like, the nine fours nine six look exactly the same. <laughs> like <Yeah>. really? <laughs> but I mean, but that book is that's another crazy book at at a nine eight too. Just like that uh, Amazing Spider Man nine eight of that book selling for like over five hundred dollars, man. That's the GTA, yeah. you know, for that book. And then you go to a nine six. I think a nine six is like one hundred fifty. I have to look at it again. I think it's around 150, and I think it's under 200 dollars for the 96. I have to relook, but uh, it's a big price jump from a 96 to a 98, man. People don't the percentage wise, you know, it's like more than double. Yeah. You know? But uh, but yeah, that, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'm just thrilled. I'm kind of still shocked. <laughs> right, that, that was a good pickup, man. That's great. So let me say again. Let me. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you, you keep pulling me back in, but yo, guys, man, thank you for showing up. Man. Thank you for thank you for sending me the link, man. This is this is fun, man. I like I like chatting chatting it up, you know, showing some books and you know this this is this is fun. I always like doing this when when I get invited, so you know, like chatting with you guys. So yeah, comic books, yeah bro. Shit, can never go wrong with comic books, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And good news to the people who watching this or who might watch this later. I won my case. I told these guys before oh, yeah. I left on on uh you know before I left on vacation, but I won my case through PayPal. The guy disputed it. Uh, they found it in my favor. So you know, uh, so far with that, I'm I'm done done with the whole situation. You know, so just to let everybody know who might have been wondering. So yeah, I yeah. went back. I went back to that video. His name uh, is gone from the chat uh, from the video. It's not there no more. So uh, weapon venom that he changed it to, it's it's gone. It's not there. So he must have just got t- got rid of it completely. So he probably I, got frustrated. You know, if he'll be back again under a different name, I you know, we'll see. Yeah, uh, uh, off all auctions, and, and it's not just for yours. I'm the same for everybody. Just I think um, you know, probably people need to start implementing like maybe uh, immediate payment. If you went on something, yes, you know, within a minute, yeah, a different story. That's the reason why you know that I want to start with my auctions. I'm try to invite at least one different person who's not selling somebody who from from out in the chat to join. So now we get to see you and see us face to face and interact, and so now we get to be more personalized. So we get to know each other more, easier and quicker. So mm-hmm. you know, I'm trying to do do that. So I'm gonna have an open chair during the auction where people come in, sit down. They're gonna be on video call, and they don't have to sell. They're just hanging out, asking questions. Yeah, yeah that that'd be real cool. They could actually hang out and help yeah. out with the chat and stuff. Got to meet more people out there instead of just looking at the chat and look at the name. You know, we would like to see the guy. You know, that we're talking to in the chat. You know. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, like Roman Curtis, man. You can you can I come know. on you, you come on that you can you can keep buying. We just want to yeah. talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, get C word out there. Daniel Scott Far. I mean, you know, guys just say dig you know, dig kingdom. <laughs> you get started, I'll hang out and, and and you know, we get to know each other, man. That's I think that you know, doing that, opening the door to 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 meet people, I mean that's a great way. You know, great, great way. Then you kind of know what people want. Yep. Keep those scammers out, those trolls and everything, man. Well, yeah, right. we don't want we don't want to keep you because we about to you, we yeah. about to get back into it. <laughs> we about to go. <laughs> we keep going, man. We can keep going, man. So I, I know, know I don't want to keep you. So I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> non stop topic. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking because I, I know you said you had to go. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Once again, I'm gonna say it again. You know what? Lenny's going to give you a roar. Hey, poor man comment says, what we been on? We ain't been on nothing. They ain't no <laughs> you got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tune in Monday, Tuesday, and I think Ryan has one this weekend coming. Next, uh, uh, 20, the 23rd is my next 23rd, one. Yeah, 23rd. So you, you, tune into those auctions. You got, uh, I think the Comic Corps has one Monday. Uh, uh, NY Wars has one Tuesday, and I think that's it for the week. I think that's it for the week, and you know, so and then the week after that, they're gonna have a lot more. So just stay tuned, people. Yeah, you know, you know. Hey. Oh. see, people, thank you very much, man. Everybody have a good night. Everybody kiss their families. You know, enjoy life. Yep. Peace, brother. Peace, man. All right.